Yeah, I guess it's time to show the collection, right? It's only right that I show the collection, right, Yeezy? What you think? Yeah, Yeezy think it's time to show this collection. Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Rob Dollar, back with another vid. Today, we'll be bringing you guys my collection. Now, before I get into this video, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up, say your dollars. We love what you're doing. Make sure if you guys are new to the channel that you guys subscribe. Also, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Both links will be in the description. First off, I'm going to start off with the not so hot or, you know, just the random sneakers that I got just sitting around. And then I'm going to just get hotter and hotter and hotter, all right? So, we're going to start off with the shoes that's sitting right here. And then after that, we'll just keep going and going and going. And uh, I'll show you guys the heaters. A few moments later. First sneaker we're going to start off with is the Air Max 98 Wild West. This shoe right here. Mike Rich copped them. And that kind of inspired me to get these. Dope, dope shoe in my opinion. Comment down below. Let me know if this is a shoe that you have in your collection. Me, I had to have it. Seen Mike Rich freak them on feet. I was like, yo, you know what? Definitely got to cop these. So that's what I did. Wound up copping these. I caught them on a restock on, uh, what was it? Shoe Palace. So I wound up copping these on Shoe Palace. Comment down below. Let me know how you feel about these. Got the gum bottom. So you know, New York guy, Timberlands. You guys already know I had to cop these. So I def definitely had to add these to the collection. And uh, let me know if these are a shoe that you added to your collection. The next shoe I got is a Deconstruct Air Jordan 2. Comment down below. Let me know if you got these. This is the Bordeaux colorway. These were sort of limited. This colorway. And um, yeah, got these in the collection. Like I said, I'm going to start off real, real light. Comment down below. Let me know if this was a shoe that you guys wanted to cop. And big shout out to Private Stock. Cop these from the home here. Private Stock. So, you know, looked out for him. He looked out for me. You know, business is business. And, uh, yeah, let me know if you guys are feeling these. Let me know if you guys got these in the collection. And uh, it feels like more like a like a van or something. Like, it, it's not as it's not as padded as the Air Jordan 2. The traditional Air Jordan 2 is a more deconstruct version of it. But let me know. Is this a shoe that you have in your collection? Or do you have any deconstruct uh, Jordan 2s? in your collection another shoe i have in my collection is the flip threes these released the same year that the air joint and cement threes dropped a couple of years ago i can't remember what year it was but uh since i missed on the cement threes i wound up getting the flip threes the next day i believe these retailed at like 200 i'm not sure but it has the leather inside uh let me know is this a shoe that you have in your collection any flip threes whether it's the white flip threes the black flip threes I had to have something in my collection, especially being that I missed on the cement threes. I said, you know what? I'll just cop the flip threes. So, yes, this is a shoe I ball in. And, uh, yeah, man, comment down below. Let me know how you feel about this shoe. Right here, I have the Yeezy 350 Boost V2s and the all-black colorway. Not too much of a fan of Yeezy Boost or Yeezy uh, Adidas shoes. I kind of like the 700s a little bit better, but... You know, these just got them in the collection, I guess, just for comfort. And comment down below, let me know if this is a shoe that you have in your collection, all right? No, 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 uh, 98 percenters. These are 100 percent authentic. Comment down below, let me know if this is a shoe that you have in your collection. Like I said, to me, in my opinion, this is a mediocre shoe, not too fancy. And they're not even hot, bro. Like, as far as looks and stuff, uh, <laughs> they ugly, bro. I can't even front. So yeah, 350 Yeezy Boost. Comment down below. Let me know if you got any 350 Boost. This is probably the only one I have in my collection. So let me know if this is a shoe that you guys wound up picking up. And these are the Yeezy 700 V3s Alva. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Another, now I can't front with this one. This is definitely a comfortable shoe. Nothing crazy. Looks like something that a referee will be uh, rocking in the game. Um, nothing too crazy. Uh, V3, uh, Yeezy 700, the Alvas. Comment down below. Let me know if you got any of the 700. Skeleton on it. On top of it, does glow in the dark. This is a shoe that I would consider just mediocre. Uh, but I definitely have to say Adidas killed this as far as how they feel on feet. These are very, very, very comfortable. These are my Air Jordan 12s. Uh, I don't know what they called. 
the grays. I don't know. But this is a shoe that I definitely fell in love with. Wound up copping. Comment down below. Let me know if this is a shoe that you wound up copping. Air Jordan 12s. Uh, I'm not sure what they called. But definitely, definitely a shoe that looks good on my feet. So I definitely had to cop them. These are practically brand new. Although I wore them one time. Just look at the upper. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Comment down below. Let me know if you have any Air Jordan 12s in your collection. Let me know if Air Jordan 12s is a shoe that you're feeling in general. Let me know if you got these in your collection. And these are the Air Jordan 13 Lakers. You know I had to cop these. I even played ball in these when, I, when we went to Mass and Nothing to the mountains. Had to cook this white boy up. You know what I'm saying? And that's not no racist remark. This is just what it was. Comment down below. Let me know if you have any 13s in your collection. Let me know if this is a shoe that you have in your collection. Me, I'm a huge Lakers fan. So you know I had to throw these in the collection video. And these are the UNC 9s. I believe this is a shoe that's been slept on. I had to cop on me and my wife. We went to the uh, Charlotte. Who they was playing? We went to the Charlotte game. We rocked our UNC 9s um, together. It was the Charlotte versus, I believe, Washington Wizards, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, we wore these. We pretty much like had the same outfit on, UNC 9s. In my opinion, this is a dope, dope shoe. A shoe that slept on, a shoe that a lot of people don't talk about. But definitely got to give props to the 9s. I'm a huge fan of the 9s. And uh, yeah, UNC Air Jordan 9s. Also got these Air Jordan 4s. I forgot what they call these. I wound up getting these at the outlet for like $80 um, in North Carolina. Um, big shout out to my bro. He was like, yo, bro, we got them at the outlet. I was trying to get these for retail. I think the quality and materials on the shoe is pretty dope. I think another shoe that doesn't get enough credit, but the materials, quality, craftsmanship isn't bad. And this is an outlet shoe. So that should tell you. Got the leather back with the uh, Jordan on the heel. Just a shoe that a lot of people don't really talk about. And uh, in my opinion, it's pretty dope. Comment down below. Let me know if you guys happen to cop these. This is another shoe uh, that a lot of people don't talk about. The Air Jordan 13 Anthracites. I believe that's what they called. Really, really dope shoe. Got the green bottom. Pretty much blacked out with the green bottom. And uh, definitely a fan of these. Don't wear them too much, but, but have them in the collection. Comment down below. Let me know if this is a shoe that you have in your collection. This is a foam posit that came out on All Star Week, and I believe in 2015, not too sure. But this is the first foam posit with the leather, with the leather goes over the carbon fiber, has the uh, rose gold Nike check. A shoe that a lot of people slept on, super limited. They sold out pretty quick, but I don't think these go for crazy prices on resale. A lot of people don't even really talk about these. And these are pretty dirty, but uh, it ain't what it is. This is my collection vid, and I'm going to give it to you how I want to give it to you. So, yeah, these are all-star foam posits. This is the only foam I have in my collection, I believe. This is another Air Jordan 4 non-OG colorway. Huge fan of these. They look fire on my wife's feet. She'd be like, yo, keep these. I'd be like, bro, I don't think they look as good on my feet as they look on your feet. Comment down below. Let me know if this is an Air Jordan 4 that you guys have in your collection. This one pretty much mimics the Air Max 95, the lime green color. And uh, in my opinion, these are pretty dope. Another non-OG Air Jordan 4 top three non-OG colorway. Comment down below. Let me know if this is a shoe that you have in your collection. Initially, when these first came out, when they were showing pictures of these, I was like, nah, I'm not really a fan of these. But as time went by, I said, you know what? These are starting to grow on me. So let me go ahead and cop me a pair. I believe I copped these for the low. These did retail at $200. I know I didn't pay $200 for these. And I definitely, these are definitely not 98 percenters. These are 100 percent authentic from retailers. So let me know if this was a shoe that you have in your collection. These are the Air Jordan 3s, Nike Shy. The first time Nike ever put like shower. Anything beside Nike Air is the first time I believe they did that. So I wound up getting these. These were another limited shoe that pretty much set. A lot of people slept on these. But me, I said, nah, something different. And I was like, yo, I got to cop these. Nike Shies, dead stock. Haven't worn them yet. I, was, I wanted to wear these to Hawaii. But 
being that the COVID-19 situation hit us, was unable to wear these. Mm, they smell good. I was unable to wear these, not mad, but uh, definitely got them in my collection. Comment down below, let me know if this is an Air Jordan that you have in your collection. I know a lot of people like all red shoes, and this is an all red silhouette. I believe the all blue silhouette coming out this year as well. I'll put with the Jumpman on the back. These have Nike shine. I believe the ones that were more general had Nike Air. So comment down below, let me know if this was a shoe, or is this a shoe that you have in your collection. Another non-OG colorway, 100% retail. I did the vlog on these. I went and got me a pair, my daughter a pair of the Air Jordan 5s, the All Reds. These were supposed to be the Raging Bulls 2.0s, but I don't know what they call them now. But in my opinion, pretty dope shoes. You guys can see, love red shoes. Another non-OG colorway, Air Jordan 13 DMP. These came in a pack with the Air Jordan 14 DMPs. They were all black and gold. I gave the 14s to my son. Definitely had to keep the 13s. The only thing with these is that the upper and the sock liner turns yellow because they all, they're all they pretty much primarily white. Has some gold in it. But this is a shoe that I like, but these are looking kind of messed up. I don't know if you could tell on the camera, but these looking kind of rough. This is the Air Jordan 3 that has a lot of nostalgia on it. Not OG, but a lot of people like these, bruh. These are the uh, Air Jordan 3s. I forgot what they call them, but uh, a shoe that also said, I know a lot of people got them for the low, and uh, I don't know how much I paid for these. I might have got them for the low, too. Comment down below. Let me know if this is a shoe that you have in your collection. The Air Jordan 3, I don't know, man. The coffees. Big shout out to the YouTube family, man. You guys pretty much helped me obtain these. These are the Air Jordan Inspires. These are inspired by the Michigan 5s, Tokyo 5s. They got that look like the Tokyo 5s. The crazy thing about these 5s though is that the craftsmanship, the quality, the materials, everything on the shoe is pretty fire. And uh, comment down below. These retail are like 200, 250, 225, something like that. Comment down below and let me know if this is a shoe that you have in your collection. Me, I'm a big fan of this shoe. I love the craftsmanship. Love the color scheme, love the colorway, and uh, that's the reason why I have them in my collection. This Jordan 5 is another Jordan 5 that's inspired by palm trees or some kind of trees. And uh, this is all 3M upper. I switched the laces out from the black to the white, but I still like the black better, so I think I'm just gonna put the black laces on them. These are 100% dead stocks, just like my Inspire Air Jordan 5, Michigan 5s. And, uh, these retail for, I believe, $200 as well, $225, something like that. Comment down below. Let me know if this is a shoe that you have in your collection. This is the LeBron Palmas. I don't know what number this is. Maybe the 13. I don't know, man. But super limited. This was another limited shoe, but it was a shoe that was slept on. A lot of people didn't really gravitate to it. But me, being the person I am, did gravitate to it. I believe this shoe, in my opinion, as I put them on feet, they're super comfortable. Comment down below. Let me know if this is a shoe that you have in your collection. Definitely had to have it in my collection. And that's the reason why they're in my collection. Right here, we have an Air Jordan 15 Quick Strike. I believe they came out two, three, four years ago. I can't remember. But uh shoe I have in my collection this is the only 15 I have in my collection. I believe I have the bread. I had the bread ones, but I wound up getting rid of them and kept these. The Quick Strike uh, Navy Blue with the all white. Comment down below. Let me know if this is a shoe that you guys are digging. Let me know if you even got 15s in your collections, man. This right here is the Air Jordan 1, the white pair from the Yin and Yang collection. Pretty dope in my opinion. Quality, materials, everything on this shoe is pretty dope. Uh, mines are pretty much messed up. I, I used to wear these a lot. Crazy. And um, comment down below. Let me know if you have any Air Jordan 1s from the Yin and Yang collection. These are the Yangs or the Yangs. I don't know. These are the white ones, though. Boom! These are the Gold Toe Air Jordan ones. Big fan of this shoe. The first one that came out, I believe, was the Air Jordan Top 3 Gold Toes. I think one was white and one was gold. But since I was a fan of these, definitely had to pick these up. Got them in the collection. Comment down below. Let me know if you guys also have the Gold Toes in your collection. Right here, we have the Shatter Backboards. 1.0 is these are the first shattered backboards that dropped. I did uh cop the 2.0s, wasn't going too crazy on resale, but these to this day go for like over a stack. 
Comment down below. Let me know if this is a shoe that you have in your collection. These are, I forgot, the Turbo Green ones. I'm a huge fan of the Turbo Green ones. Comment down below. Let me know if this is a shoe that you have in your collection. Like I said, I remember the story. I, I hit a fine line like, yo, fine line, how these look in person? He was like, bro, they not all that in person. But, but, they restocked on Nike. Wound up scooping them up. And I like the I like the quality. I like the materials on the Turbo Green ones. Comment down below. Let me know how you feel about this shoe. Like I said, in my opinion, this is a pretty dope shoe. And, uh, yeah, fine line. I think you jugged me, bro. I think... I think you slept on the material and quality on these. I like these, in my opinion, these are fire. I can't remember what these are called, but this was like one of the high quality Air Jordan 4s back in the days. I wound up copping a retro pair of these, and uh, these are all right, man. I like these, got the dark blue on them. Comment down below, let me know how you feel about these. I'm pretty much feeling them. Got the alternate Air Jordan Bugs Bunny 8s. I don't have the Bugs Bunny 8s. I'm mad about that, but it is what it is. I did have them back in the days. These are the alternate Air Jordan 8 Bugs Bunnies. I also got these in my collection. I forgot what these are called. Air Jordan 6s that released on All-Star Weekend. Can't remember what they call, but it's a shoe that looks dope on feet. They kind of glisten, got that glisten look to it. Got the smoke bottom. Like I said, nothing crazy. This was another shoe that was expensive. I think it was like 225, but these wound up going on sale and I wound up catching these on sales. I think these are the Chameleon Air Jordan 6s. I'm not sure, but, but this is a shoe that I think is fire. And this is a shoe that I have in my collection. Comment down below. Let me know if you also have these in your collection. Another shoe that a lot of people, you know, you got 50-50 reviews of these. These are the Fearless Air Jordan Ones. You want to see to Chicago. In my opinion, this is a pretty dope colorway. It pretty much represents Jordan to the fullest. It goes from him being the UNC all the way to Chicago at the toe box. And um, this is all patent leather upper. And uh, in my opinion, these are pretty fire. Comment down below. Let me know how you feel about this shoe as well. Boom, these were rumored to be the Air Jordan Shattered Backboard 3.0s. Although Nike never acknowledged it, these were supposed to be the 3.0s. Boom, this is a shoe that I copped from StockX. I forgot what these are called, Rust Pinks, something like that. Crimson, Crimson, Crimson Pinks or something like that. In my opinion, dope colorway, dope silhouette. Of course, it's on the Jordan 1, the classic uh, silhouette. And, uh, Definitely have these in the, in the collection. Comment down below, let me know if you have these in your collection. Like I said, cop these from StockX. I believe I copped these for under retail, if I'm not mistaken. I was able to cop these for under retail. But comment down below, let me know if this is a shoe that you have in your collection. These are the green toes, I believe this is what they call them, uh, 2.0s. I like them, man. Got the red laces, so it can give it like a Gucci look to it. And um, like I said, man, I pretty much like them. Let me know if this is a shoe that you copped, definitely had to cop these. Like the colorway, I'm an Eagles fan as well. Um, I just threw the, threw the red laces on them so it could have like that Gucci look to it. And that's the reason why I threw the red laces on them. Comment down below, let me know if this is a shoe that you have in your collection. Let me know how you feel about the shoe in general, man. And these are the Air Jordan 6 DMPs. These are the retro ones. These originally came in a pack with the Air Jordan 11s. And then they re-retroed them in 2020. In my opinion, this is the most disappointing shoe of 2020. Air Jordan Hair 2.0s. These are the Air Jordan 7 2.0 hairs. And um, I like these shoes. I got that good fur on it. The good quality and materials on it. I threw the white laces on it. They originally came with uh, gray laces and pink laces. This shoe right here has the pink laces as you guys can see. And every time I wear these, like people go crazy. Although I only wore them one time. When I wore them, people was going crazy for these. And uh, I am a huge fan of this shoe. This shoe is fire. Comment down below. Let me know if this is a shoe that you have in your collection. This is the only off-white Air Jordan I have in my collection. It's the Air Jordan 5. I did. I mean, this is the off, only off-white Jordan I have in my collection, period. I did have the Prestos back in the days, but the resale was going so crazy for them. I said, you know what? Gotta sell them. And I uh, wound up selling them for like 1500 What I'm about to do now is go into the OG Jordans that I have. And then we go into all the Super Heat. So first we're going to start off with the OG Jordan colorways. And then we're going Super Bananas with all the Heat, Limited Fire, Travis Scott's. We're just going to go ham, alright? So you guys bear with me. Let's get into the OG Jordan colorways. This is the Air Jordan Cherry 13. This was a shoe that Jordan wore in the playoffs. 
Really, really dope silhouette. Really, really dope shoe. Really dope colorway. Comment down below. Let me know if you have the Cherry 13s in your collection. Another OG colorway. Although Jordan didn't wear these in the game, these are definitely OG. Big shout out to Will Smith. Will Smith used to rock these back in the 80s. On his show, The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Comment down below. Let me know if this is a shoe that you have in your collection. The only thing with these, these have the Jumpman on the back. The OGs have the Air Jordan on the back. Or, or the, yeah, Nike Air on the back. Comment down below. Let me know if you have these in your collection. As you guys can see, got the Royal Ones. This is another OG colorway that dropped back in the days. And, bro, these got mad spiderwebs on them, bro. Got mad spiderwebs on them. What? You got the Air Jordan Bread Ones, man. I see the crazy resell on these. Definitely, this is the shoe that I've worn. Resell is going crazy on these. These are the ones that didn't go for too much when they initially released as far as resell. But, but, they steady climbing. They're almost at $1,000. Comment down below. Let me know if you have the Bread Jordan Air Jordan ones in your collection. Air Jordan four cements with the Nike Air on the back of them. Jesus Christ! You know, love the OG colorways, so you know I had to have these in the collection. Air Jordan one bread fours in the collection. Big shout out! I believe my wife got me these. Big shout out to you if you did. If you didn't, then I apologize. I made a mistake. But Air Jordan four bread with the Nike Air on back. A few moments later. Who got the Air Jordan infrared sixes, man, with the Nike Air on back? Comment down below. Let me know if this is a shoe that you have in your collection. If you guys know me, you guys know I'm huge on OG colorways. And that's the reason why I got these in my collection. Air Jordan True Blue Threes, a classic colorway. I believe Jordan wore these back in the days at the All-Star game. Not sure. But this is definitely a 100% classic colorway, Air Jordan, Air Jordan 3 True Blues with the Nike Air on the back. Comment down below. Let me know if this is a shoe that you have in your collection. If it's not, what you waiting for, man? You better go get you a pair. Air Jordan Fire Red 5s, man. These ain't got the Nike Air on the back. I believe these dropped in 2015, if I'm not mistaken. You see one. Uh, which I'm call. I got these off of eBay. One of these are yellow, and then these kind of look more clearer. But uh, you know, I ain't mad at that, man. Was able to get the infrared fives. That's the that's the only reason. Fire red fives. That's the only reason why I didn't get the 2020 pair was because I already had these. Comment down below. Let me know if you got these or the 2020 pair with the Nike Air on the back. Air Joe and Cement Force in the collection with the Nike Air. These are not the OG colorways, but these released uh, 2017, 2018. I'm not sure. You guys comment down below. Let me know when the year that these released. I've been having these in my collection for a minute. As you guys can see, the netting on the side is turning yellow. Uh, I don't wear these. I think the last time I wore these was the year they released. And I haven't worn them ever since because of the yellowing. But, but, Cement Force, white pair, comment down below. Let me know if this is a shoe you have in your collection. Air Jordan 3 Cement, comment down below. Let me know if this is a shoe that you have, if you have this shoe in your collection. Nike Air on the back, OG, classic, colorway, and you guys know how I feel about classics, man. How many times I gotta tell you guys, anytime a classic joint comes out, copping it, throwing it in the collection, and that's how I'm moving. Air Jordan 3 Cement 3s, uh, with the Nike Air on the back, man. Comment down below, let me know how you feel about this shoe. Cement 3s. Classic white cement three classics in the building If you know if I got the black ones, you know, I gotta have the white ones You guys know I got the true blue threes also have the white cement threes big big shout out to Willie Garcia He gave me these for the low when it was going for like 600 He like hey look give me this much and I got you and these were 100% dead stock when I copped them from Willie Garcia still have them in the collection and uh Big shout out to Willie Garcia, man. Air Jordan 3's White Cements, man. Comment down below. Let me know how you feel about this shoe. And now, I will be bringing you guys my Air Jordan 11 collection. Got the bread. These released in 2019. Big shout out to the plug. Was able to obtain these. And, uh, yeah, man. Got the bread 11. Got the Space Jam 11's. You know, I gotta have these in the collection with the 45 on the back. These are the OGs. Well, these are not the OGs, but that's how the OGs came with the 45 on the back. Got the Mellow 11s. 
You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you guys know how I feel about all red shoes and the OG colorways. And uh, got the all red 11s. I believe these are the Carmelo Anthony 11s. Not sure. But uh, or when like 96 or something like that. Got to have these in the collection. Comment down below. Let me know if you have these in your collection. My favorite shoe of all times, man. Concord 11s, bruh. Concord 11s with the 45 in the back of them. Nike Air in the insole. Definitely, definitely a shoe I had to cop. Big shout out to the wifey. She cop me these for sure. And uh, man, this is a shoe that I love. Never going to let go of them. They always going to forever be in my collection. Because this is a shoe that I love. This is my favorite shoe of all time. The Air Jordan Concord 11s. Comment down below. Let me know if this is a shoe that you have in your collection. If you do, if you don't, let me know why you don't have them in your collection. Big shout out to Nike once again on this pickup. Now we're going to go over the Travis Scott collection. Woo! Let's get it popping, bro. Let's get it popping. This is the first Travis Scott Nike release with, uh, with Travis Scott. Big, big shout out to the plug. Got the uh, silver lace tips. Detachable Nike sign comment down below. Let me know how you feel about this shoe also got the Air Jordan ones If you guys know was able to cop these off of Nike I also copped the low big shout out to Nike was able to obtain the Air Jordan one cactus jacks These are fire got the back with swoosh man big shout out to Travis man in the Jordan collabs This was the first Air Jordan collab that Travis had um, the All blue these are pretty much these are supposed to be the Houston Oilers colorways uh, baby blue, Air Jordan 4s, Cactus Jack, Jumpman on the other one. Comment down below. Let me know if this is a shoe you have in your collection. Shout out to Nike once again. Was able to obtain these from Nike. And, uh, hey, look, man. When you got the heaters, man, listen. A lot of hate gonna come with the heaters. And, of course, you guys see, do have the SB Travis ones, man. Or, or not the Travis ones, the SB uh, Travis's. Big shout out to the plug once again. Was able to obtain these through the plug. And uh, another dope shoe that's in my collection. So you guys pretty much see the Travis collection that I have. And then last but not least, the hottest Travis Air Jordan in the whole collection. Are you guys ready? Boom! The Air Jordan 6 Travis Scott's B. In my opinion, this is 100% the hottest Air Jordan Travis Scott release collab with the glow in the dark bottom. Got the Nike Air on the back, as you guys can see. And then got the Cactus Jack in the back of this one, man. Comment down below. Let me know if this is a shoe in your collection. In my opinion, this is a dope shoe. This is the dopest Jordan that Travis Scott collab with and created the glow in the dark stash pocket on the side extra laces pretty pretty dope shoe and in my opinion like I said this is the hottest Travis Scott Air Jordan collab that they have on the market right now as last but not least heaters Yeezys PEs this is what I bring to you at the end of the collection vid bringing you all the hype heat the expensive stuff you see first. I started out with the Trav collection. Now we're going to the super duper limited crazy sneakers right, right now. Start off with the Solar Red Yeezys. Has the glow in the dark bottom. Slits in the gills. Dusty, crazy, crazy shoe. Uh, lace tips is the gold lace tips. And this is a dope shoe. Very, very rare shoe. This shoe goes for like five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven thousand dollars. Comment down below. Let me know where you wanted the fortunate ones to cop this shoe when they released on Nike. These are the pure platinum Yeezys. This is the first Yeezy 2 that dropped. Then the Solar Reds or the Solar Reds then the something like that. But another shoe glow in the dark. Crazy materials, crazy quality. 3M upper. Comment down below. Let me know if this is a shoe that you have in your collection. If it's not, then guess what? You ain't got the heat like you're claiming to be having, all right? Another dope shoe collab. Air Jordan 4s with cars. Comment down below. Man, these smell good. Old pleather. But these smell like leather, though. Leather inside. Glow in the dark bottom. Comment down below. Let me know how you feel about this shoe. This is another dope shoe cause collab glow in the dark with the cause for uh footprint on the bottom 
Uh, comment down below, man. Let me know how you feel about the shoe. Like I said, this is another heater, another limited shoe that I have in my collection. Boom, we got the Soulfly Air Jordan 1 PEs, man. Family and friends, comment down below. Let me know if this is a shoe you have in your collection. This shoe goes for like five, ten thousand dollars $10,000. So comment down below. Let me know if this is a shoe that you have in your collection or patent leather upper. Uh, my opinion, pretty dope. Uh, did an on foot, that's about it. These are way too small for me, so wasn't able to rock them. But, friends and family, Soulfly, Air Jordan 1s with the patent leather upper. Another, another, another super rare sneaker in the collection. Air Jordan on the back, the Oklahoma City Sooners, Air Jordan 4 PE, wax laces, extra laces on the side. Jumpman hang tag, clear bottom. Come on, bro. Listen, listen, listen. A lot of people don't even got this shoe in their collection. And as you guys can see, Rob Dollar has them in his collection. And last but not least, let's go to one more heater that's in our collection. Booyah! Georgetown Air Jordan 4s, clear bottom. Extra laces, three extra laces, wax, wax laces. This is another rare shoe. Players exclusive, I believe the coaches had them, some players and some like assistants in them, but another rare shoe, I believe, uh, I believe, what's his name, uh, uh, Cardi B's husband, he bought these for like 23000 at Flight Club, comment down below, let me know how you feel about this shoe, is this a shoe that you have in your collection, will you pay $23,000 for this rare commodity in the shoe collection and add it to your shoe collection just to stunt, let me know down below. This is Rob Dollar, done with the collection vid. Holla at you guys later, man.